Hey, what's up you guys? Yes. For today's video, we are going to be doing a very fun, graphic, bold, funky, crazy, kooky look. So, you can really wear this look anywhere as long as you have the confidence for it. Um, like, some people will, re will reserve this for pictures, parties, but like you can wear it to class if you want to. You can wear it for your walk around the block if you want to. Since we do be in quarantine though, like as long as you have confidence, like you can wear it anywhere. It's so basic. It just like seems like a lot, but it's like, it's literally not. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And also like I've worn this look, look out, I have worn this look out before. I've worn it in public many times you only get compliments like obviously this isn't like a movie no one's gonna come up to your face and be like you look weird like your makeup is weird but like you will get so many confident you will get so many compliments that will boost your confidence like people will be like oh my gosh your makeup looks so good like yes queen work you look amazing and then you'll be like sorry for the flighting it do be sunny out um, but yeah, so let's get right into it. So as I've said before, I don't wear foundation um, or concealer. I have just like not the right skin for it. Like Jenna Marbles just put out a video today and she was talking about how she can't wear like a lot of product on her face because it just like makes her skin look bad. It makes her look aged. And like that's like me. Like I feel like an old woman whenever I wear makeup because it just like ages me so much. Like it just it does not look good on my skin. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of foundation and just pop that on my pimples that are like a little more red. Um, this is all I do. If y'all have any tips for me, I would love to hear them like for covering up scars and stuff like that. I just like, I haven't found anything that just like looks nice on my skin. So if you do wear foundation, face makeup, you can go ahead and do that. Just do it normally, I guess. Um, and then I am gonna put on a little bit of blush. I'm gonna mix these two blushes that I have. This one is the Tarte. Heart blush, the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. I love this. This is in Party. Um, it's like a cute, like, rosy pinky shade. And then I'm also gonna take this one that I used in the last video, which is the Radiance Boosting Blush from Literally Mini. So it was like $4. It's like more of a red, but then it also has like a bit of sheen in it. I wonder if you can see that. So I'm gonna mix those two with my little multi-purpose brush there and mix those up, pop them on my cheeks and just kind of blend it around like this. I'm just mixing these two because I feel like that's the color that I want for this. Like you want something maybe like a little bit different, not just one shade. Plus I want like the radiance stuff from the other blush because the pink one like the tart one doesn't have that but I do want it to be more pinky and less red okay so blush is on you can never have too much actually you know what we're gonna put some on the nose as well I always I guess I have a little bit here let's put it like across like that I think that that's the move Once I did this and my boyfriend stabbed us if I had to sunburn, but it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna do it anyways. So that's the blush. So this look is mostly going to be like an eye look. It's going to be very eye based. So we are going to grab our primer first and foremost. Slap that on the eyes because you want this to last you. I like a, I feel like a lot of makeup products are not necessary, but I do think that a primer, like you should have that if you're, you know, like doing more than just the basic 
Okay, put that on, let it dry. So for this look, you are going to want really any color as long as it's colorful. Like you don't want a neutral, you don't want like a brown, a gray, a beige, a taupe, like you don't want that. You, for best results, use a colorful palette. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. Um, I got it from Shoppers, it was pretty cheap. So just like any color will work um, as long as it's a real color. You could also, I feel like a white could work for this, like a white or like a shimmery white. You like could get away with it, but this is what I would recommend. And then also one of these like shitty brushes. I know y'all have one of these laying around just like one of these spongy ones. I know you have one from a palette and you never used it because it's crap, but like this is what we're gonna use because this is gonna be very graphic. You don't need to blend anything. You want sharp lines. This is gonna give you that because <laughs> it's like, it's not like a brush brush, you know? You can just like draw it on and it'll just stay there. So for this video, I think I'm gonna go in with this blue. It's a little bit sparkly, very pretty. So I'm just gonna go on my brush, get a lot of product on. And a tip that I have is start on the eye that you're less comfortable with because you want it to be like even, obviously. So start with the eye that you're less comfortable with doing so then that way like once you make that shape you can replicate it easier than if you start with an, like your eye that you are comfortable on and then you try to do it on the other eye but it's just like it's awkward and it just doesn't look the same. So for most people that's the eye that is opposite from your dominant hand so I'm left hand. And so it's my left eye is like like it's a little bit wonky it's not as easy to do so i'm gonna start with that one um dip in and we're just gonna create like a wing so you can make it as big as you want just a wing start with a line just like that and then drag it up just to like right above the crease and then we're just gonna fill it all in like that see very graphic very bold it's gonna look like you're like this amazing makeup artist when in reality this is just super simple to do you can go and clean it up if your lines maybe weren't that precise also a tip that I have is if you want like say you have this color but you want it to be like more pastel you don't want it to be very neon or vibrant go in with a like neutral shade a shimmery one especially like can look really nice like going with like a white or like a cream and just like get a little bit on your brush or on your finger and just put it all over just like one layer and like it'll look so pretty it'll look so cute so i am going to do the same thing on my other eye off camera and i'll come right back okay so both of our eyes are done now um, before I put on any mascara or anything to complete the eye look, we are going to take it up a notch. So if you're comfortable with this, you know, you've done your eyes, you've cleaned them up where you need to, if you like this, you can stop. But if you want something a little bit extra, if you're, you know, confident, if you have a bit more skills and you feel like you can do this, we can outline it with some eyeliner. 
I'm just gonna use a black eyeliner, but you can use any color you want. That's like the point of this is that it's fun and colorful. Um, my suggestion is to use um, like a felt tip one like this that is like very like wet. <laughs> like I hate to say that, but like usually the eyeliner that I use to just do like a wing is like the Kat Von D tattoo liner and it's like very dry. So when you put that over the eyeshadow, like it just kind of like it looks dusty. So you got like a very wet one and you're literally just gonna trace, start go along your lash line, go up and just like literally trace the shape that you've made. And then there's that one outlined. So I'm gonna leave this one just as is. This one is what it looks like outlined. It just kind of like enhances that graphic look. But obviously if you don't feel that you can do that, you don't have to. It's just an option. So now we're gonna put on some mascara. This is the same one that I used last time the Kat Von D, go big or go home, whatever mascara works for you, just pop that bad boy on. Bottom lashes, it's very important, do your bottom lashes, trust me. Okay, mascara is done. I'm just gonna pop on my eyebrows off camera. Okay, so eyebrows are on. Um, if you want to put an eyelash on for this, like fake lashes on, I think that that would be super cute and you should do it. I'm not going to, just because I don't wanna waste lashes. <laughs> um, but like if I was going out with this look, I probably would pop a lash on if I had any, so. The last thing that we're going to do is the lip gloss. This one is just like a little pinky one from e.l.f. Um, you can do really like any kind of color that you want. Doesn't really matter, I guess it just kind of depends on what color you do for your eyes. So I'm just gonna pop this on. I wanted to keep the lip kind of neutral, just to like, this is like the main attraction is the eyes here so yeah but that is it that's your look this is it's so easy no blending no technical skill required um and it's super fun and you'll get a lot of compliments on it so that is it jeez louise so that is i1 i2 those are like the kind of two different looks that you can work with um, yeah, any color you want, any thickness of liner you want, very versatile. So yeah, thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below what else you want to see. Bye!